Yo, what up? My name is Nico and I am here to show you a quick itinerary for your day trip to Kobe. So you're in Kobe. Let's get the most obvious thing out of the way first. We all know you're here for Kobe beef. And I'm not gonna talk too much about them because you probably already know what they are. That's why you're watching this video. But basically, they're super high quality, super tender meat and they are from this prefecture. Um, what I will say is do your research before you go to a restaurant because there are some restaurants that don't serve authentic Kobe beef and they are taking advantage of tourists and at the same time try to go in lunchtime because usually the prices are a little bit cheaper during lunch and some restaurants actually have some special deals going on during lunchtime so if you want to save a bit of money definitely go in lunch Alright, so we have filled our bellies and we want to walk around and burn off the calories. Um, I suggest that we take a walk to Kitano. And Kitano is basically a really nice area full of European architecture. And all these houses here, they all predate during the time when Kobe was the only port of entry for trade in Japan. So all these traders, they actually built their houses in here. So it's really amazing, it's really nice to walk around in. And they also have a Starbucks near and it's a really unique Starbucks because it's in a colonial era style architecture and they also decorate the inside to match the style of the building and it's just a really chill area man Alright, next stop, Nunubiki Herb Garden and Nunibiki Herb Garden is basically a flower garden up top on a hill and what's really cool about this place is you gotta go through a cable car to go up the hill and once you're in that cable car, you will see the best view of Kobe uh, We're on the way to go to the herb garden and yeah, we are in a cable car right now and it goes so fast man it goes faster than a normal cable car and it kind of shakes a little bit, I'm kind of freaking out, but yeah, it is what it is, man. But the view though... Once you're on top, as I said before, it's a flower garden and it's a really nice area to walk around in and take some photos and there's a lot of um, European style architecture in here as well and it's actually a really popular date spot so you will see a lot of couples in here Chinatown and we all know what a Chinatown is there's a lot of good food and it's a cool place to hang out in but you probably already have a Chinatown in your place so if you do you can skip this place and you can go straight to Kobe Harbor Land and Kobe Harbor Land is basically a waterfront area and it's really nice at night because all the lights light up you can see the Kobe Tower in here and you can also see the Ferris wheel light up and it's really really beautiful and it's very romantic actually You'll see a lot of couple having their dates here because it's a really popular date spot among the Japanese people. And they also have an earthquake memorial in here. So when the great earthquake of Kobe happened, they actually preserved a little bit of the destruction that was made just to remind people on how destructive an earthquake can be and pay tribute to the victims. And 
yeah man, that's it for me. By now it should be night time, so you can head back to town to have more Kobe beef. Or you can head back to Osaka to have your dinner there. But that's it for me, I will see you guys next time.